Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're upgrading your computer to Windows 10 if the upgrade is stuck at 99% or 98% or something along those lines. And I am very well aware that many people are still upgrading their Windows 7, Windows 8, and even older devices to Windows 10 in 2017. I know because some of my most viewed videos are related to upgrading to Windows 10. So I know this is a somewhat common issue that people can have, and I have actually run across it myself. And this nice little trick might do the fix for a lot of you guys that are experiencing this problem. So many of you might have noticed I'm already on Windows 10. It does not matter for what I'm showing in this video. It will work on Windows 7 and Windows 8 devices. So we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. And we're going to type in Services. Should be listed right above Desktop App. So you want to left click on that. So now underneath services, we want to scroll down until we get to Windows Update, right here. You want to right click on it, and then left click on Stop. Now this is not going to be disabling the Windows Update, it's not actually changing any of the settings that have already been predefined for the Windows Update servers. This only applies to this current session of our computer, meaning when we restart our computer it will be re-enabled. If that makes sense, we're not actually disabling it during the startup process, we're just stopping it currently. So at that point, I'd recommend closing out of the services window. Give the upgrade assistant tool about a few more minutes to run. It would give it at least five to 10 minutes. And then at a certain point, about probably about five or so minutes, it should say the upgrade is ready and your PC needs to restart to complete the upgrade. And there will be a restart countdown. Just restart the computer from there and that should pretty much be it. So just keep in mind there is going to be a little bit of a delay for this tutorial to take effect for the upgrade assistant. So just be patient and it should work for you in most cases. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.